back with another video. Coming back with another one. All eyes on me. It's the name of this video. And of course, this video is expired. Inspired by Tupac Shakur. It seemed like he's a major a major topic. Everyone got the name Tupac Shakur in their mouth right now. The man been dead over 20 years. He's been dead, people, over 20 years. The man's been dead for a long time, and people still find ways to talk about him, to bring him up. Rather, it's, 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 it's the movies or his music or the mysteries surrounding his death. But people find ways to talk about this guy. He's most talked about, the most talked about dead man ever. And I mean ever, ever. The most talked about dead man, I guess since Elvis Presley. And he was a Caucasian man. But here's this Negro man. A supposed to be Black Panther. Or he was the child of that product or a child of the Black Panthers and he's this big iconic influential figure that people praise and love like he's a godly figure don't get me wrong people this is not a, this is not a, a, a Tupac bashing video I'm not here to bash Tupac at all. I'm just here giving my perspective, my opinion on the whole matter. I'm starting to believe that this Tupac Shakur person was a character. It was a character that the so-called powers to be created you know what I'm saying? That, that's that's the way I'm looking at it now. From when I seen this film, All Eyes on Me, and how it was directed, how it was scripted, how it was put together, is like this Tupac Shakur person was a character that was meant to be killed, that was meant to be famous, praised and worshipped like he is today. It's like throughout his whole life, it was calculated. It was calculated moves. It was calculated steps. And he even said that himself in his own music. He said every step was calculated. But it seemed to me that he was careless. He was a young man full of knowledge full of intelligence, but naive. And it seemed like he was so easily influenced and manipulated. And that was his demise from what I got from the movie. It seemed like everything was calculated and planned since his birth. While his mother, a Phoenix Shakur, while she was in prison, while she was locked up behind bars, she was already pregnant with him. And she was part of this revolutionary group or revolutionary team called the Black Panthers. And the way it appears to be like they weren't all way together, you know. She was released from jail and she gave birth to two us and she gave birth to her child, her only man child or male child. And that was Tupac Shakur. And of course, everybody knew about Afeni Shakur. She 
got on drugs and they traveled and she gave her kids up because I guess she chose the streets over her kids. I'm not sure how the I'm not sure how the story is, but I know she was on drugs real bad and she gave her kids up and the kids traveled. Uh, Tupac moved around, you know. And somehow he ended up being this famous, famous rapper. He started doing music, started writing poetry, started making movies. And that's the question, you know, you know, if this man had the last name Shakur from the Shakur background, why would they put this man in the industry if he was a major threat? If he was a major threat to your to your supreme structure, then why would you put this Shakur why would you put this baby Black Panther in the position where he could influence the entire world? Some might say, well, they put him there to make money. And I can't argue with that. Because the man been dead 20 years and people still making money off this man's name, off this man's hard work. And allegedly, he's not here to financially live off of his own fortune, his own name. Because that character was assassinated or killed off. It seemed like everything was calculated from the day that he was born. From his moving from New York to Maryland to uh, to the Bay Area, to his acting career, to his music career, starting up with Digital Underground. Everything was calculated, even his friendship with Biggie Smalls, even him being set up to be robbed at the Quad Studios where he got shot five times. That was calculated and set up. I was starting to believe he, him shooting them off duty cops that was beating up a black guy. I was starting to think that was calculated and set up. The rape, the so called rape allegations, I also believe that was a calculated move. That was set up. Him knowing Jimmy Hitch, Hinchman and Haitian Jack, him chilling with Haitian Jack and all that shit was also calculated and set up. A calculated move to send his ass to jail or to prison for 11 months. That also was calculated. Him having a number one album in the whole fucking country while he was locked up. Me against the world. And not getting paid. Not getting his royalties. I also believe that was calculated and also set up. How the fuck you in prison. And can't post your own fucking bail. And you got the number one country. I mean the number one album in the whole fucking country. But can't post bail. Nigga, you sitting on D block. Or A block or B block, whatever block it was in this prison cell. But you was there. And you got the number one album in the whole fucking country and can't make bail. And the record label owe you money and you can't get your hands on it. All that shit calculated. And you were in prison for 11 months. Knowing that these people owe you millions. And the only thing that you can think about is what um, Haitian Jack or Jimmy Hinchman or Biggie Smalls or Puffy did to you 
by setting you up to be robbed and shot five fucking times. That's all you thinking about. But you in a penitentiary for 11 months and can't get your money that's owed to you and the only thing you can think about is Biggie Smalls saying that he's the king of New York and him taking your position. Making money blowing up after you trained him to do what he needed to do to be successful. So now you angry, now you upset because you locked up and this man making money the way that you taught him. But yet you got Ted Fields, whatever his name is, the man at Priority Records, if that's the uh, record label, I think it's Priority, I think that's what it was. These motherfuckers owe you money and you said nothing. That's why I believe all this shit was calculated. I mean, everything. And it seemed like this Tupac Shakur was a character. And he played this shit to a T. You did 11 months in the penitentiary for a crime that you said you wasn't guilty of. But you did 11 months hard time. It's, and it's even rumored that she was raped that it was raped while you was in prison. Is that true? I don't know. All I know is you couldn't bail yourself out after you had the number one album in the whole fucking nation but couldn't bail yourself out. Now you got Suge Knight, the owner of Death Row, or the boss of Death Row, Listen to that name now, Death Row. Death Row. When you think of an inmate that is being charged of a hideous crime, they will put that inmate on a, on a block or a D block or in population until it's time to move his ass to Death Row when it's time for his uh, execution. So Tupac did 11 months in population. So when the time came, they moved his ass to death row. And he was on death row and that's, and that's where he became assassinated. He was killed. It wasn't long. He was bailed out with the death row and was killed. And not only was Tupac Shakur killed, but Biggie Smalls, the understudy of Tupac Shakur was killed six months later. Six months later. Man, this whole thing is just straight weird, man. This whole thing is weird. but people just making money off of this guy. People is making money off of Tupac Shakur. Can imagine all the conspiracies, all the conspiracy channels, people talking about this guy. You know, trying to figure out how he was killed, how he was murdered, who murdered him, when they already know who murdered the man, you know? It was the industry, it was the powers that be, that created that character. All they did was kill the character. And I believe Tupac was aware, I believe he was aware of what was going on. I believe he had his hand in building this character as well. You know, that's why he always rapped about his death. That's why he did the things that he did. 
took the picture of where he was crucified on the cross. Switched his name to Machiavelli. Dropping subliminal or subliminal things about his death and his music to have people wondering if he's alive or not, you know, to keep his name relevant, to make him an iconic figure. No, he's the most talked about so-called Black Panther without really being a revolutionary, if you think about it. Now he was a, he was portrayed as a street nigga that died doing gang-related activity. That's the image that they gave him during his, during the time of his death. During the time of Tupac's death, they labeled his death as a gang-related incident when he wasn't a gang member. He wasn't a gang member at all. That's why I said, people, I'm starting to believe, I'm starting to think that this Tupac Shakur was just another character out of a book. But I must say this, though, it would never be another person like this guy at all, man. Not another rapper at all like him. Ever. character or not, you know what I'm saying, it, it take heart to do what this man did, you know, it took heart, it took heart to do that, and it seemed like all he wanted to do was make music, he just wanted to be heard, he just wanted to be heard through the entire world, he just wanted to leave a mark, that's the way it looked, he wanted to leave a mark, he wanted to be an influence, Anytime you got the number one album in the whole country and you ain't get paid and you locked up and can't make bail. You locked up, can't make bail. And you said nothing about it. On any of your records, all you talked about was Biggie and some of the New York rappers that that was helping Biggie that you didn't like. You mentioned other rappers' names, and you also mentioned Henchman and Hasten Jack. But you never mentioned the guys that robbed you on the record label. Ever, 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 never. That's the part that got me confused. That's the part that got me thinking that Tupac Shakur was just a character. If you are this real person speaking from the heart, and if you are that sensitive, to attack Biggie Smalls because he didn't tell you that you was being set up to be robbed that night, But what about the record label? No, it was Interscope. That's what it was, Interscope. Ted Fields, Interscope, they robbed you. Didn't pay you your royalties. You sitting in prison for 11 months, didn't get bailed out. Here comes Suge Knight with Death Row, which is also under Interscope to come bail you out and you sign a, 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 a contract that was written on a napkin. So not only did Interscope, Ted Fields and them fuck you over out of your money, and then you got Death Row also fucking you out of your money.
like I said before, you went from prison straight to death row and got killed. Murdered. Not only was he murdered, Biggie Smalls was murdered six months later. Another character. Just my thoughts, people.